Hey, what's up, guys? Tyler here from the Foam Frat blog and podcast. So my buddy Brian and Mike Boone from the Heavy Lives the Helmet podcast and blog asked me to do an experiment with a nasal cannula. So what we did was we put a real nasal cannula on a mannequin with an FiO2 analyzer in the lung, and we got a control trial. So this has no oxygen flowing. It is at room air, 21%, as you can see by the FiO2 analyzer. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this up to 15 and see what fractured of inspired oxygen is actually delivered through a regular nasal cannula. And we're looking at this for uh, the setting of apox, but also pre-oxygenation. So we're going to turn that up to 15, and we're going to watch the FiO2 rise. All right, so you can see the highest we got with the standard nasal cannula is 84%. So this is actually a X-series nasal cannula. It delivers oxygen through small perforations and not actually in the prongs. That's where it's going to measure the end tidal CO2 from. And we're going to see what is the highest amount of FiO2 delivered at 15 liters with this end tidal CO2 capable nasal cannula. All right, now the last arm of this little experiment we're doing, we're going to look at the E-series nasal cannula. So this one uh, delivers oxygen through one of the prongs and measures end tidal CO2 through the other. So we're gonna crank this bad boy up to 15 and see what the highest FiO2 delivered is. So, as suspected, the real nasal cannula had the highest FiO2 delivery. For more information on this, check out the latest episode of the Heavy Lies the Helmet podcast where we discuss this topic. All right, take care, guys. Stay safe. We'll talk to you soon.